Hey, Animal Love Squad! Welcome back to my channel. Please make sure to like and subscribe down below. So, today we are going to get into another video. But this video, I want to stop you from getting a hamster before you watch today's video. If you don't watch today's video, you're probably going to be unknowledgeable about hamsters and not know how to treat them with proper care. So before you move on and like scroll through your recommended list, like, oh, well, there's this cool, funny parody or something, stop and watch this video, especially if you want to buy a hamster. So, before we jump in there, I want to make a couple quick announcements like I always do. Um, so the first announcement, the first announcement is, drum roll please. Da, 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 da. So the first announcement is my Twitter account. Please make sure to go check it out. I would love to see everyone following it because I will start posting updated daily. And I also am very sorry for not posting on this channel very frequently. And then I'll have links in the description to my nephew's channel and my channel and the Twitter account down below. So if you want any of that, links are in the description box below. So, you know what? Let's get into the video. So like I said, this is going to be a video on what you need to know before you get a hamster. Because hamsters aren't just an animal you can go out and be like, I'm going to buy that. You can't do that with any animal. Like, you can, like, I don't know, like this thing. Like, this is like a little container. Like, you can't just go out and be like, oh, well, I'm going to buy this container today because I want to because I have the money. You cannot do that with an animal. You need to be knowledge before you get the animal so you're not putting the animal at risk at all. So, the first thing you will need is a cage. So... Cages are very, 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 very important. I will have links in the description box below as well to different cages that are very, like, high-quality cages. I'll have two links to two different cages that I do recommend for you guys. There's one in particular that I'm going to talk about that is not good for you. You do not buy it. It is a KT Critter Trail cage. So, KD Critter Trail is not a phenomenal brand to buy a cage from. Okay, if you're going to buy their bedding, go ahead. That's perfectly fine. But if you're going to buy their cages, I highly recommend you don't. Look somewhere else. Look for another option. Tanks are also a option for, in a, like, for a um, habitat. You can go a tank route, but if you want to go to a, like, TV type brand thing and bob, you can go to one KT cage. One. They just came out with it not, not too, too long ago. It was probably about last year, like, October maybe. Not too sure. So it's not that old at all. It's called the Super critter trail i will have that link in the description box below and a tank because those are different options obviously you have other options like bin cages but if you don't want to do diys then those are some solid options that you can look forward to so moving on to the next category chew toys so let me Go grab some and show them to you because chew toys are normally a topic that gets thrown out of the equation. You're normally like, I'm going to have to buy the food, the water dish, the water um, bottle thingy. I was losing my words. Um, then I have to buy the hamster. Then I have to buy the cage properly. Then I have to buy the proper wheel. Then I have to buy the bedding. Then I have to do all this and this and this and this and that. And sometimes the chew toys can get left out of the equation. You really need to think about these long and hard because you don't want your hamster to grow long, obsessively long teeth because they can grow very long teeth and that can give them serious problems. 
So you need to look for chew toys so they have something to bring it down on instead of chewing on your metal bars. You want a chew toy that they can chew on to keep their teeth down. So let me go grab some chew toys that might not be my hamster's favorite, but I have some that are definitely my hamster's favorite, and I have dozens in the description because I'm sure they'll be your hamster's favorite too. So let me go grab them. Hey, I'm back with the chew toys, but like I said, they can be kind of a sore subject, but not in this household. So I have little boxes, and this has a lot, and this has quite a few of these, like, bigger guys. So... These are meant for guinea pigs, but they're so big that they're, like, really nice for the hamster and for the guinea pig. So they all have a little chew toy so that they can get their teeth down and keep them to a nice consistency. So I have these ones. These are very big. They're nice for both my guinea pigs and my hamster. Then I have these specifically just for him. So they're in an airtight container that I like to keep. Um, I have some wicker balls. So I have, like, these little... So I have this little wicker ball. It is very natural, and they he really likes it because he can chew on it. He can, like, toss it around and have a lot of additional fun with it. And it's good stimulation for the mind. Then next, he really likes these guys. These are just, just wood chews. Um, so, yeah, so I have one of these little guys. Then I have a bunch of these little guys these are very cheap so if you don't have the most expensive items you can make homemade chew toys but i would highly recommend buying like some of these to stimulate the mind a little better because you're not going to find stimulation like this in all homemade toys then i have some willow sticks you can get a big bundle of these for like $2.99 and you can get like 10 or 12 and that will last your hamster a nice little majority you can throw like these four in there at once so that he can have a nice variety of chew as you can see i like to give him a wide variety so those are some of his chews i'm currently out of his favorite chew and that is a cheesy chew it's like a, it looks like a little slim piece of cheese almost and he loves it because it's like flavored like cheese and we all know I don't know that, but I do have a skill you might like. It's called Say It Backwards. Want to try it? No. <laughs> oh my goodness, so let's get back to the serious topic, but that made me jump out of my skin. <laughs> I jumped so hard. Oh my god, that scared me. I didn't even say Reeb. Okay, anyway, um, so, <laughs> okay, so chew toys are definitely not supposed to be a sore subject. Please do not make it a sore subject. If you need something, if you need advice on what type of chew toys do you think my hamster will like? First, buy a, wide buy a wide variety, like I do. So I bought the blocks, I bought the whimsy, or the um, cheese chews, I bought these little wicker balls, I have these little sticks, I have, he doesn't like the little, little sticks, and I have a big piece of wood that's like this, and it's just like, I have a wide variety for him to see what he's most interested in, and that was the cheesy chew. So those are something that you like to keep stocked up on. So, moving on to a next category. So our next category that is very, 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 very important is food. <coughs> okay, so food is very, 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 very important, especially if you're getting a dwarf hamster, because dwarf hamsters can catch diabetes from the type of food you put into their dish. And you don't have to have a dish, just uh, FYI, you do not have to have a dish, you can have a scatter feed, but I prefer a dish, and then I'll dump whatever he has left out of the two days into the thing and he can scavenge for it later so if you have a dwarf hamster like i do 
I will also get into the Syrian diet as well because the Syrian has a little more flexibility than a dwarf hamster would. So let me be back and grab what I have for food. Okay guys, so I am back with the food. So let me grab the food very fast. So this is in an air kite container. So this is the food I'm currently feeding him. I do not know the name brands, but I will have two types of food linked in the description box below that are very, very high quality food. I do like, I'm just going to give you one example right now. I do highly recommend Higgins Sunburst brand. That is a very good high quality food. And before you buy food, you should look at the grade analysis on the back to make sure you're feeding a good quantity of food for your hamster. So I know the one that I am feeding him is a lower quality seed mix. So what I mean by that is it's not the best brand that I possibly could buy for my hamster. And I had so much of it, so I just decided to use it because I didn't want to put all the hamster food to waste. So, when I got this little guy, I also remembered that hamsters, like dwarfs, like dwarfs, for instance, can get diabetes pretty easily. So, what you have to take out of your food, if your food does have it, you have to take out the chunks of corn. And, okay, so let me show it up to you guys. There's tinier pieces of corn, but there's also big pieces like this. So as you guys can see, so that's a piece of corn. This is added. And then I take this out as well because that's added preservatives and colors that they do not need in their food mix. So I like to take both of those out. And I like to make sure that he's not getting too many seed, like seeds. And also something that I take out because my hamster is a picky one. I do take out these because he does not like to eat them. Ooh. He doesn't like those, so if your hamster doesn't like them, I would recommend you pick them out. So I pick out his food for him every two days, and that's how he gets fed. But be, you might you might be wondering, so then why are you telling us that we have to get high-quality food if you're the one getting low-quality food? Because I do add in mixes. So I add in different varieties of stuff each time. Sometimes I'll just do the fundamentals. Sometimes I'll just do the seed and I'll do something. And sometimes I'll do, so sometimes I'll just do the seed and that gives me into the block. Sometimes I'll just do seed and block. So this is like a little block. I'll have two different blocks that people can use. I use the KT hamster and gerbil. Some people like to use the Missouri rat and mouse. Both of those are very good to bring up your low quality protein source of food to a high quality protein source of food for your hamster. Let me go grab some, also let me go grab some preservatives that you can add into your food to make it a little more variety full and amazing for your hamster because they will love the extra like stimulation because they get something fun in their dish they would love that. So let me go grab that. Hey guys, so I just grabbed the preservatives, and there's three preservatives that I use, but I have two right here in these little containers. One is in the closet right behind me, and that closet has hay. I know that that might sound a little weird because guinea pigs are the ones that eat the hay as a main source. But hamsters can have a little bit, so I like to give him like a little tiny piece so that he gets a wide variety of food. So, um, so this is something that I do feed my little hammy because he does seem to like it, is millet sprays. So millet sprays look like this. They're a little seed. I do these selected millet sprays for hamsters, gerbils, and like rodents, and you can also come to your birds and stuff, but... They do like those, and it gives a wide variety and brings up the protein source in your food so that you're not feeding them just seeds and block. You're feeding them a wide variety of food. So then the next item leads to be a little gross. If you are afraid of bugs, you might want to skip ahead to probably just skip ahead as far as you can. <laughs> 
But I will probably leave a time in the description box. Yeah, I'll just leave a time in the description box where you can skip ahead to not see the bugs. So, just a fair warning. If you don't want to see the bugs, then go some elsewhere. So, if you're not afraid, then you know what these are. I don't like touching them, but I'm not afraid to hold the container. I don't like touching them. So, yeah. But these are mealworms. So, mealworms are something that um, dwarf hamsters seem to like a lot more than Syrians. Um, a lot of YouTubers for animals also say the same exact thing. They say that their Syrian hamsters are not a big fan of, like mealworms compared to say a dwarf hamster like mine so my dwarf hamster does like the mealworms and thinks that they are amazing and they are a very good source of protein and if you are wondering what i get i get the zilla munchies mealworms travel package um you can get the regular package but i just grabbed the travel just in case he wasn't fond of them i didn't have a lot to waste then i had a little quantity to waste but he is very fond of them, so I do have to stock up on those soon. So now moving on to the next category, and that category is um bedding. Oh my goodness, I blanked for a second. Bedding. Bedding is a strong category because there is many thoughts about bedding, and I have some good information for you. So... If you're using bedding, I highly recommend paper. Paper bedding is your best bet. You can also, if you could not afford to buy a package of Carefresh or KT, you can go to your local Walmart or your local grocery store and see if they have a little, like not little, but they have like, probably like that big, they go decent sized bag of cheaper paper bedding called like healthy pet i think and other options those are some cheaper options that are still really good for your pets compared to other options that are horrible for your pets there's also another there's one wood bedding that you can use and your hamster will be safe they might not like to burrow in it so you might want to supply some paper bedding but there is also some like wood type beddings that are horrible for your hamsters to have because it can affect their respiratory systems and other problems can occur from this bedding. So the first bedding that I'm gonna mention is wood that is good for your hamster. This one is good. It is called Aspen. I honestly like to use that for my hamster and it's cheap and affordable and it is Something that my hamster doesn't mind borrowing in, so I can leave that as a primary. But I also have paper bedding. I will grab them as examples so you can see the difference. But there's two that I want to mention that you need to avoid if you want to be a hamster owner. You cannot buy these. This is a no-go. So these two are called pine bedding and cedar bedding. So they might be like cheap and affordable, but do you really want to risk your hamster's life in the long run? That is my question to you. The Aspen is not much more, not much more. It's probably like two, three dollars more and it's really affordable. It's like eight bucks for like a huge, huge bag. We got it for like $16 and it's humongous and it's lasted me a long, long time actually. And it's amazing because the hamsters don't mind it and it's totally safe for them. So it's nice, affordable. So Aspen is affordable, safe, and my hamsters don't mind it. But I really would go with the paper bedding and you can also buy paper towels and rip them up on your own. And that would be a way to save money if you were looking for that. So... I'm going to go grab the paper bedding and the aspen, and you can see the differences in the material so you can decide for your own it, what you want. Okay, guys, I'm back with the bedding. So, this is... I don't even think I'm going to be able to fit in the camera unless I slant it like this. And hopefully it doesn't spill on me. So, this is a huge bag of aspen. It's called So Fresh. 
it is absorbs and controls odor not odor naturally odor uh naturally so i'm just gonna grab a little bit of this and i want to show you guys what it looks like so it just looks like That's what it looks like. It's hard with the glare, but yeah. And then I have a little bag of Carefresh Special Edition Blue Bedding, because I recently did the cage theme that when I cleaned the hamster cage, you guys got to see, and that was a cleaning my hamster cage video, and I did a stee theme, so I got the blue Special Edition, and this is really comfy and soft, um, it is very blue, and that's basically the comparison um but they are totally safe both so they're both totally safe for your hamster so i do recommend if you want to go on the cheaper route the aspen is probably your best bet and just go to your local store um buy some of the um happy pet i think paper bedding that's kind of just comes in a tiny little bag like this um, and it's like eight bucks and just mix it in so that if your hamster does not like to like burrow in the aspen they can move it around and they can be a little more comfy and feel a little more comforted and that also one more thing that's bedding do not ever if you get a hamster use cotton I cannot tell you how bad cotton is. There's multiple problems that can be from happen from cotton. They can eat the cotton, it can get caught in their systems, and it can like um, cause the hamster to have problems. And it can get caught in its feet and give it serious damage. And you will have to bring it to the vet. And is that worth risking over a little piece of cotton? No. There's other ways you can do that. You can go to the store door buy a pack of tissues rip the tissues up put it in the house and they'll be nice and comfortable with those tissues so that's a little hack so also moving on to our next category our next category is hides <coughs> Sorry for that. so hideaways you need a hideaway so there's different forms and variations of hideaways, like there's castles, barns. He currently loves his little barn. You can get a little tunnel. But I say if you get a tunnel, you need some sort of like the little barn thing so they can feel comfortable and burrow in that because they cannot burrow in the tunnel because it would be cardboard, plastic, or whatever material you had. So, I currently have a glass hideaway, a plastic, and a tunnel. So, those are the three. There's also going to be a couple more linked in the description. And I'm also going to link a website in the description that is by a bigger animal YouTuber. But she does have good supplies. And I really recommend going to check her out. It's called Pickles Pet Shop. Go check it out. Link will be in the description box below. So, yeah. So I'm going to go grab the hideaway and you can kind of get a general idea of what you're going to be looking for in a store. But mine is definitely different because, because I got it at a gift shop and it's not meant to be for an animal, but I made it so that it can be for an animal. Okay, so let me go grab it. Okay guys, so I'm back with the whale here. And the whale is like, well, I just gave it away. Jeez. So it's a whale hideaway. It went with my whole blue theme thingy my bob. And it's just something that he can hide in. He can feel safe. If he was scared because there was a lot of noise going around outside, he can kind of tune away some of the noise in his little hut. He can go to sleep, feel comforted. And there was a little like um sponge in here, so it was made to like put your sponge in so that your sponge like, wouldn't get all dirty, wouldn't just be laying around or being a cute little decor, but, um, I was like, my hamster so needs this for a new cage theme, so, let's go grab it. So, yeah, I picked this little guy up. He is adorable. So, 
that shows you that hideaways are very important. I do highly recommend that you get like a plastic one or a glass one. Do not go for the cheap flimsy ones. There's also terracotta tunnels that they can dig in ground and it'll keep them cold in the summertime. So moving on to our next category that was that is super important is accessory wheel. Oh my exercise wheel. <laughs> So, you need a wheel if you are going to own a hamster. The reason being is, if you didn't own a wheel, the hamster couldn't run like it would with a wheel. Because your hamster, they are kind of like native to the outdoors pretty much. Because you can find hamsters in the outdoors. But, obviously, if you're in like a city, you're probably not going to find a hamster outdoors. Or where I live, you're probably not going to see hamster outdoors. But doesn't mean they're not out there. So hamsters do need an exercise wheel. And you cannot. There's a lot of no, 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 no's. And I will put those in the description box below. And I will also write a little supply list for you guys in the description below as well. But there is a no. You do not get barbed wheels. Barred wheels. Barred wheels can cause bumblefoot on the hamster's foot. So it's like a bulge in their foot because the because their feet go through the holes because they're not like our hands where they just maybe hurt a little bit. That's kind of like the hamster's feet, except the hamster's feet can go through the holes and then take them out, go through and take them out, go through and take them out, go through and take them out, and they're running consistently on this wheel. Say they're running for 20 minutes, even five, that can cause bumblefoot because if it's gone over a long consistency of time, that is very, very bad for your hamster. You need, I would recommend a plastic wheel. There's also Carolina Storm wheels, rodent wheels, and make sure you get the proper size. We can, us animal YouTubers cannot say this clear enough. Like, we cannot pound this hard enough than we are. We are cracking down on this. We are saying it a lot. Get the proper size wheel. If you have a Syrian that is about, I don't know, like, six inches maybe, do not go out buying a six and a half inch wheel because that will give them an arch back and that will become a serious problem in the long run. If they're a baby hamster that is a baby Syrian, maybe for like a week at the most, a six and a half inch wheel would work. And that's maybe. So why would you want to spend the extra money when you can buy, but you don't want to make sure the wheel, you want to, and that leads me to another thing. You want to make sure the wheel is not too big. So they're not flying around. When they run, they don't flip. It's a perfect size wheel. So a 12 inch is probably a really good fit. You can go 8 inches. But that is really pushing it. I think an 8.5 is would be better. But that's still pushing the limit on the Syrian. I think a 12 inch would be a perfect size. So the Syrian not flipping over. But he has a nice place to run. You can get flying saucers, but I would really highly recommend just getting a normal wheel and you can get a flying saucer if your cage provides enough space for a couple wheels. So now moving on to the next category. And that is your food and water dishes. So your food and water dishes are different dishes like you can you need a water water um bottle thing i don't mean water dish i meant water bottle so water dishes are horrible for hamsters because they can get wet tail and that is a horrible disease that you would probably have to go to the vet for to get it fixed so why not spend an extra two dollars so you don't have to spend an extra 150 at the vet so take the little precautions serious and take the big precautions extra serious. Okay? So that's all I'm going to have to say about the water bottle. But the food dish, that is an optional item. You do not have to buy a food dish. I like to. And then I also like to scatter feed a little bit. by After the two days, I pour some of the food in there so we can go find it and scavenge 
and have the natural instinct that he would in the wild, but they do need food. So you have to give it in a, like, a different way. If you cannot afford the dish because you bought everything else properly and you're like, I am maxed out. I have, like, went to the total limit I can spend because I want to save this $10 for myself because I bought everything else for the hamster. Or you literally can't afford to buy it because you don't have enough money at the moment. That is totally fine. Scatter feed for a supplementary time. You can scatter feed his whole life. You can scatter feed for a little time if you want and then give him a dish. Just make sure that he is getting fed. That's all I have to say about that. Now moving on to the next category. And that category is stimulation. You need some sort of stimulation in your tank. You can't just have it be a wheel, house, I keep saying tank, whatever cage you have. You can't just have it in this cage. You can't have wheel, house, tunnel, bedding, done, and chew toys, food bowl, water bowl, done. Cannot do that. That would be very, 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 very mean to your hamster because it would be like you just sitting in a room with a bed, a chair, and I don't even know, and a nightstand. Nothing else. Not even anything on the nightstand. Just a nightstand, bed, and a chair. It would be very, 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 very boring. And you have windows all around you. That would be very boring. You need to provide them with equal stimulation, stimulation that you have. You probably might have a computer. You might have a phone. You have maybe some sort of device. You have a drink. You have everything you need. And you might have, like I do, like markers, crayons, color pencils. You need to provide them with stimulation. Obviously, you're not going to go and give your hamster a marker. That's not what a hamster needs. You would buy, like, a bendy bridge, and you would put the bridge in there so the hamster can run up and down on it. Give him, like, a little maze. Put, like, different objects that he has to climb up on and climb down. Make objects your own, homemade, so that it's cheap on you. Buy items from the UK and stuff. Like, there's a seesaw at, like, BioVet and stuff. Go purchase those. I don't really care. I'm gonna, like I said, every category probably have one or two links to different items you can purchase to give that stimulation to your hamster and make him a happy, awesome, amazing pet. And that leads to two more categories. So this category is a sand bath. So. Dwarf hamsters are the ones that seem to use it a little more, but doesn't mean you should not provide it for both hamsters. You definitely should provide it for your Syrians and your dwarves. So sand baths, you can use, I'll have two different, actually I'll have one sand that I know for sure is called Repti Sands. Do not buy the calcium brands, no calcium in your sand. So I would buy the Repti Sand with no calcium. I will have that one linked in the description. Click on the link if you want to buy that sand. And don't buy dust. Dust isn't like if you were inhaling dust all day. That is very bad for your lungs. And just don't do that to your hamster either. Because they're trapped in that one space. They can't escape if they wanted to. They can't be like, oh no, I'm just going to, I don't know, ditch this house and go to my friend's house. They can't do that. They don't have that type of freedom. Unless you have another cage that they can just run off to. But even then, dust is horrible for them. So get the right sand. Sand, like I'm saying. I'm going to have one link in the description for that. Um, you can get children's place in, but you have to like go through different steps in that. I'm not too familiar with that because i never like done that type of process. So don't... I wouldn't buy it unless you are educated on that. So now moving on to the last, 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 and final 
step that you should do before you get a hamster, and that is, op so this is optional, but treats. I would highly recommend you buy treats. I would highly recommend it, but you, it's not like you are forced to buy it like you need to buy this this is an essential it's not an essential it's an optional item but it's good to reward your hamster with a fun creative treat so let me go grab some treats that i have for my hamster that you might want to buy for your hamster as well hey guys i'm back with a couple treats not like every single treat i might have but i'm back with a few things a treat so treats are optional but i do recommend you buy like maybe just one little treat so that you can give your hamster a treat when they're rewarded you can give them varieties of treats so this is a couple that i like to use and they're kind of healthy treats but they reward your hamster and this is really good if you're doing a taming process or you're um, handling her, you can give her a little treat as a reward for being good behavior so that she understands that a treat comes along with good behavior or he, sorry, and not bad behavior. So, alright, so I have one of these little guys in my hand. Okay. So I don't know if you guys. I see I'm a flash model with my hand. So I don't know if you guys can see this. It's like a little cube. It's called a papaya treat. You can buy them from different brands. Um, I'll have a link to these ones in the description. These, I don't know the exact brand, but I'll have a link to a papaya in the description. Because papaya is a healthy treat that you can give them. And you can maybe give him one or two so that he or she has a nice time. Then you can give your hamster also rice pops. I've heard that people say that rice pops their hamsters love. You obviously should not give this huge thing to them. Rip off like... Let me do it right now. So... Okay, so I'm just going to grab one real fast. I just feel like they're not, yeah, they're not squishy. I was like, um, they're squishy, but they're, <laughs> but they can't be rock solid. So like, just cut off like this little, little bit. So your hamster can have a fun variety, a little cool chew to give your hamster. My hamster is not a big fan, neither are my guinea pigs. So this might just have been a waste of money for us, but try them out. Link will be in the description to those below as well. And I'll, so you'll have those two links. You can also buy other treats. Just make sure they're not bad treats. Look at the ingredients in the back. Just like the food. Make sure they're good. And like I said before, make sure to turn, become a member, become an Animal Love Squad member, become a fan, whatever you call it. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button. Turn on those post notifications. I the subscribe button so you get notified every time I post a video and don't forget to share it to your friends and family so you can so your friends and family can become a member of the animal love squad and peace guys remember to make sure to always be kind to animals peace guys Woo!